on our um, metallic bonds. So we've we'll wrap that up. It's done for you. Uh, a nice pretty bow. Then I have one last thing I want to talk to you about. Be very briefly, and then we'll turn the corner. Okay. Right now, if I can get my computer to work, I'm trying to get you guys a. It's not me. <laughs> Shut up. Someone's wearing something and I smell it and I want to know what it is. I made sure to put my bunny to sleep. Well, hopefully it's like you know, you're smelling the odor or something. All over the place. Oh, no, it's coming from here. I can, I can guarantee you that it's not my deodorant. Wait, are these the results? What's it smell no, like? It's, 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 Eli says he can guarantee it because he's not wearing any deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> it's either cologne or perfume. I haven't what, differentiated what's it, yet. What's it smell it's, like, bro? This is from November. It smells, it's a really nice <laughs> smell, <laughs> so you, whoever it is, you should mess up. No. Okay, okay. I'm wearing the same cologne I've been wearing for the past like month. All right, fine, guys. It's me. I took a shower this morning. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. All right. So, V S E P R. What is the This is what we call Vesper. How? What Vesper is? It's a very special thing for us. That's my favorite SMG in Black Ops 3. This is what it really stands for. Valence. Valence surveillance. Shell. Electron. Repel. Repulsion. Pair repulsion. I bet they thought they were so cool when they made this. Did you feel really cool saying that? Yeah. Valence, shell, electron, pair, repulsion. Maybe you feel better. Because these people think they're so smart whenever they make Yeah? They kind of stuff. are. Nuh-uh. What have you given an acronym to? Mm. Mm. So me and Tanner and Brody and Eli and like Dell, all of us in a room together and we'll come up with the best stuff ever. Repul Is repulsion spelled right? Probably not. Repulsion? Repulsion. What? That's revolution. That's so right not a real word. Loose. Okay, I would that back here. Mm -hmm. Lush. I thought it was the complexity point. Oh, so you can you the cord and the green. Effectively. I sourced it. True. Guys, my, my, like, I know four people are becoming managers. Um, and they're all my home. And you're not one of them. This is I'm too young. Room. One day I'll become a manager. Like but I might become a crew trainer. I don't even work. I'm just so happy to be a I won't have to sweep as much anymore. The janitor? I'm just. I don't know why, but they always, like, if anyone has to switch to, like, mm, Mason. Okay. Not a video. I'm so disappointed. A picture of a video. There's something better. A simulation. Wow. Pink one. I said we so get the funny. real deal, Mr. Mom. I think the answer is mom. Let's get some molecules in here. No. What this is, when we talk about Vesper, Valence shell electron pair repulsion. Is it over? No way. I thought this was an angle. There you go. Is it repulsion or repulsion? Stop it! Stop! Is that a repulsion? It was a new word. I thought I was a stupid one. I thought I was like, repulsion is not a word. They all say on pair of repulsion. Mr. Hogg, you just gaslit us. Shadow repulsion, my favorite letter. All right, what you're looking at up here, this is what is happening. When you deal with Vesper, you deal with violent shell electron pair repulsion, you can probably put two and two together from the name of what's going on here. 
when you look at valence shell electron pair repulsions, what this is is how it, what this is is the shapes of molecules. No. from the repulsion of the valence electrons. Has anybody got that trick study book guy? Yeah, man, I got it. So when you Real would, oh. why would you there be a repulsion force? Because they smell. I mean, you get two negative charges near each other, they're not going to exactly like each other. It's like charges. So this is kind of what happens, and this is why I brought this up, this little simulator. So we can move this around. Whoa. Oh, my. Turn it again. Okay. It looks just like just around. So what is down here, I don't think you can see it really well, but... Don't bring geometry to science. I Down there in the lower, oh. the, you have electron geometry and molecular geometry. The geometry we're talking about is the shape of the molecule. We talk about these shapes of the molecules for very important reasons. Shapes determine tons of things. Whenever we looked in biology and we talked about enzymes, remember about enzymes? They had perfect fit right? Whenever you're looking inside the body, inside of anything, it's all about fit. Things fitting. So things that you're smelling, the reason you're smelling them is because it fits perfect in the receptor. Oh yeah, it's fitting perfect over here. <laughs> My bus felt like lighter fluid. That's awesome. My bad. Hey Mr. All, your shoes are untied. Thanks dog. You're welcome. I'll fix it later. Are they, are they not supposed to be like What? Untied? Uh, no. I'm supposed to tie I, I them. I noticed that and I was like, man, it's a style choice. <laughs> so, I didn't say I just hadn't tied them yet. I don't know why. So, here's what, here's what we can do. We can add Whoa. different things here. So, like right now, if you look at this, it looks like a straight line. This is what is called linear. Another thing we can do, and this is why I like his simulator, I can even show you bond angles. Oh my god. No, I hate geometry. I hate so why would it be 180 degrees from each other? That's a line. The line. They're completely opposite each other. And why would they want to be completely opposite? Because they don't like each other. other. Same charges. They don't like each other. What if I added a lone pair in? Well, that changed the angle. That's what a lone pair looks like? Why? It's like a tear. Is he crying? You're trying to. It looks like he's got okay. like a. Another lumpire. He's got like eyeballs it, poking out. To like Too many negative charges. There's Split it how? Another like one. Like equally, so that way they're equally distant from each other. Well, why would they want to do that? Because they don't like it. It looks like light negative. bulbs. If they, they tell you sure, they repulse. They are repulsed by the side they're of They're disgusting. Each other. So awesome. <laughs> I mean, run around on each other. It looks like a little. But what will happen is they will always go back to being as evenly spread apart as possible. Why are they wanting to spread as evenly apart as possible? They don't like each other. They're like feeling like, you. All right, can you get away from me? But they're stuck to each other. And you know, the fun thing is, we can really jack this thing like big time up. What are you oh doing, Mr. Hall? Got some lone pairs. He's struggling. Look at that perfect quarter. Two double bonds. What is happening? So they're Whoa. literally spread away from each other as far as evenly as possible. And this actually happens. What is this witchcraft? Hello? Uh, oh, hey, by the way, anybody talk to you about tomorrow? What? What was tomorrow?
Okay, there's a very big possibility. Oh, like, yeah. Tomorrow, the people are going to be running around. Who's the observing people? Observing all the classrooms. The people. Getting their data. So should I? And then the central office uh, people may also be coming. Oh, no. I figured you guys would just like a heads up to that. Which probably means... Where people from out of state just come into the school and look at furniture because there's like 10 people that walked by the library, stared it in, it was so funny. And then they just yeah, left, just like, okay. the they looked through the big window in uh, at the DLC, and like there class was... and stuff was over, and we were like on our phones doing assignments and stuff. And they just stopped with their stuff, looked in at us, and then walked off. And we were like, What just happened? Wow. It's really odd. Right. They were from another county and they were from the middle of the furniture because they got home and took some. Where are they from? It's a secret. Okay. So we actually can do molecules. This is water. What? You can see here. So they actually hold shapes. I can show the bond angles to it. So if you ever wondered why whenever we did Lewis structures, why my water molecule looked the way it did, this is why, because this is the actual shape for water. I can now make the water have a shape. It's like a, they're like, ha, that's funny, I like that. Why don't you love me? Get away from me. You're trying to fight physics here. I know, right? He's so close to denying physics. Try hard enough. We I believe I can do it. Yeah, I gotta show them what I can do. So, you got different molecules we can look at. Oh, wow. You got something you want to look at up here? Uh, CO2. Pick a good one. Oh, CO2. That's basic. XEF looks so cool. Yeah, do XEF. What does XEF look like? Just two. Is he on tetrafluoride? That's awesome. That looks so awesome. So, this one isn't pretty oh, interesting. Yeah, it looks awesome, yeah. too. Oh, what the? That's the best one. Whoa. I'm happy you stopped there. What? I, I was going to say Freaky Frack. I promise it's a habit. He's a liar. Our shoes are damaged different. Mine's just cute. What the freaky frick. <laughs> that reminds me of the UFO, like, uh, right at the bank of the fair. So, what is the whole point of Vesper? It's explaining geometrical shapes of molecules. And this is like the very basis breakdown for you guys that will get you just scratch the surface. Geometric shapes of molecules matter because of how they relate and how they work and function within the bodies. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that um, one thing we're gonna do, and I know it doesn't seem like we just did a lot. I just introduced this to you. I'm actually gonna print off a table for you. The table tells you this many bonds, this many lone pairs. This is the structure. This is the shape. I'm gonna give that to you. Because I gotta be honest with you, like I don't even remember them all right now because it's like pure memorization. And I'm not interested on testing your knowledge about it. When I want to test you, on do you know what Vesper is? Why does Vesper matter? So why does Vesper matter? Oh no. We're in a science class. There is no rhetorical questions. Yeah, there is. Never say the word rhetorical ever again, please. Oh, I'm so God. sorry, so no, no, reminder. Tell him what you told me. Seems like there's a story there. No more. <laughs> no more rhetorical. <laughs> no, not the thesis English, and rhetorical English class stuff. sucks, Mr. Hall. Yeah. We'll leave it at that. Well, I agree. English class does suck. Oh, no. I forgot about Jimmy Carter. <laughs> What, did he the die? president? Oh, he's so English. 
If I have to read that stupid speech again. This, this no. is that quote. This is a problem for future me. This is a problem for future me. All right. So, when we break this down, this is what Vesper is. Now, he better make it Mr. Hall has great news for you. This is the cutoff point. Woo! What was the oldest? We have officially gotten behind because what I'm getting ready to start on, we should have started on mid January, but then, like, all the snow. The world snow. Shut up. I love snow, Cheryl. It's so. It's so it's so pretty. It's so nice. It's awesome to lay in. You know, you know what? You know what I've realized? I've made. I've realized something. What's up? The people that look and say that they love snow and it's so pretty and it's so wonderful are the people standing at the window watching it fall with a cup of coffee or hot cocoa. It's like, this is awesome. While every man ain't ever saying it. If he's the one out there with the shovel and salt. It's, I think that's fun it to do. It just sounds like you're a Scrooge. Yeah, yeah you just you just hate fun, Mr. All. Ain't no fun. Mr. Yeah, you hardly ever get to see snow. It's like seeing an annual eclipse or I was, something. I was, you're excited. You know that, you see that snow out in the parking lot? That's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It's so beautiful. I, I was playing basketball in the snow and I sprained my ankle and I still love the snow, Mr. And the Hall. snow is what saved him. The snow, I would have snapped my ankle in half if it wasn't for the snow, True. Mr. Hall. <laughs> Listen to Trump. I shovel and saw the uh, the steps at my church. Okay, I still like the snow. Exactly. It's I shovel and saw my house. Then I shovel and saw and saw my church. Well, that's well, yeah, just because you're a man. Right? Oh yeah. So I just, shovel and saw all those Whenever you were born on this in. earth, that was just kind of the role you understood. You know, you just accepted that. Well, Mr. All, you're just a Scrooge. Every day I have to navigate through a pile of snow not to step on a cat turd. Well, I don't, I don't like this snow. It's terrible. <laughs> Makes sense in his own world, I think. It's like walking through the snow in my yard and you just he brain so don't step on a cat turd. If we're talking about something. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so, the, this is the turning point. And we need to have a conversation. Listen. Today we turn in Kim. So what? What happened when you first came into this class? It was challenging. Now you got used to it. Oh God! I hate my life. Mr. Mr. Oh, 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 oh. Stop! 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 Before I start. So speaking. from this point, <laughs> right now, back to day one. That's fair game for your quiz on Friday. Did I graduate? There's a quiz on Friday? Far from it. Yeah. Oh, it's over for me. It's, I'm dead, Mr. Hall. So, study, be prepared. It's okay. over for we me. We have school this Thursday, so study. Why don't we have school? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I gotta learn stuff. I will not be studying on Thursday. I will be in bed. My blood pressure will be through the roof by Thursday. You guys will come in on Friday. Can we have the test on no, Friday? <laughs> so, um, please it's be over. mindful. Please be watching for this. Study. Wait, what you Besides say, that. You said everything that we've done? Yeah, just like normal. Okay. How many hand. questions? I'm ready for the test now, Mr. All. Uh, minimum is five, maximum is ten. I'm ready. Okay. You know, I think. Questions. Here's what you're going to have now. Okay. We turn the corner in this class into something I've warned you about a thousand times. Today marks the day we turn the corner. You're going to think I'm lying to you, and you're going to think it's a trap. Not believe you, Mr. Hall. I need to go. This is a trap of all traps. This is the thing, if you don't get it, it will bite you in the butt for the rest of the year. But luckily, we're going to get it because we're, we're really good. At, and you're just a nice guy. And you're going to. And you're going to I let us know. You know, I think it was this time of the year. Actually, it's it's actually longer. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was all year. All year? Just letting yeah. you know, Mr. Hall. Yeah. Our legend yeah. on yeah. yeah. I'm not bad. I'm reserving a page for this, Mr. Hall. I need another sheet of paper. Nomenclature. No, I'm running out of paper. Page number this six. This is the this is this the very is telling. the turning point. I'm so excited. If you don't get nomenclature, you cannot do chemical reactions. 
If you cannot do chemical reactions, you cannot do stoichiometry. Stoichi what? <laughs> if you cannot do stoichiometry, <laughs> laugh now. I'm really laughing because he's like, stoichiometry. I'm going to have the last time. I'm talking about it all here. Stoichiometry. Uh, you can't do stoichiometry. You can't do acid bases. Spaces? Acid bases. Oh my goodness, Stop making fun of me. I'm trying my best. You have got to be prepared for this. You have to take this serious. I'm promising you this. You're going to think I'm messing with you, and you're going to look and say, dude, this is easy. What in the world is he talking about? Out of nowhere, it hits you in the face with a two by four. I really have to pee. <coughs> this is me taking the time to make sure you understand how serious of a moment this is. And how serious it is. Do not fall to the trap. No. This is what's going to happen. There are six. Six of them. Qualification. That we will go through. Here's the hard part. You don't only have to know the six and how to apply them, you also have to determine when to apply them. I'm going to teach you how, but you have to be prepared. Okay? Mr. Roll, you want to say, is it over for me in, in German? Nein. No. It's, 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 it's for me to for be. Pretty sure that is not. Google no, Translate has never been wrong ever. Yeah, have Google Translate like sound it out. It's my mom's. All right, nomenclature. <laughs> she, she's had it since the beginning. So this is what nomenclature is. The rules. That determine right. <laughs> naming or compounds and molecules. What nomenclature is, is it's all about teaching us how we're going to name things. It teaches you how to name them, but it's also when to name them. You have to be able to make the determining factors. So the first one we start with are going to be easy ones. The first one we'll start with So ion compound. compound. Slash ions. Here's the key to ion a compound. You know how to name the ions? You know how to name the ion compound. It's that simple. So let's start with naming the ions. Oh, I don't like this already. So the first one up, if we're going to talk about it, let's focus ions. Let's talk about what comes first. Cations. You got to remember what cations are. Very bad at naming things. This is like where you insert that like weird story about how you were trying to name your pet a uh, uh, like good name and you gave an awful name. Oh yeah, well, cations are positively charged ions. I accidentally gave my boy it takes cat kitchen uh, the name of a good thirty minutes <laughs> So cations are positively charged ions. So you know where these come from. You know what they are. So you have to be able to go from the, sim the 
chemical symbols to the name and then from the name to the chemical symbols. So in these cases, it's not too difficult. If I gave you something like, but I need to tell you how to name it first. Cations are named simple. When we look at cations, are just the element name. That's it. Nothing massively hard, nothing massively complicated. Just the element name. A good example of this. Let me give you a cat eye on. See the two plus? I see it, Mr. Two plus means something. Plus two. It means it has a positive two charge. Since it has a positive two charge, that means something. This is a cation. So let's say I ask you for the name of that cation. What's the name? Calcium. Just calcium. That's awesome. Oh. Simple name. Excuse me. Not hard, right? Stop it. Yeah, stop. You said that. You just, you just stay up there with your marker, okay? You think you're so on this high tower of yours looking at us suffer, Mr. All. Easy enough, right? Simple? Yeah. So we'll say we do it the other way. Okay? <laughs> no, it's, it's... Let's flip it around. No. And let's no, say that I gave you the name. Like... Like magnesium for porters. Four. So what's, what's magnesium? Be careful. Five on the periodic table. Sure. It's going to be MG plus. Oh, I'm getting MG, I'm getting MG plus. Well, I mean, that's, that's, that's an abbreviated. I don't a, know how you, how do you find the charge. So what charge would magnesium form? Pause. Yeah. Pause. I don't know, no, Mr. No, no, Mr. Osai. Uh, it's, it's a cat. It's a cat. No, he's it was, lying. It charge. wasn't a cat. I am hey, in the What column is magnesium in? I can't I don't oh, know. Two. It's in column two. So how many valence electrons? Two. Once eight. Easier to lose two or gain six? It's easier to lose two. So it loses two. What's the charge? Two plus. So two plus charge. Okay. So give me the correct answer now. MG2 plus. Okay. So that's what you guys give me, your final answer? No, stop, Mr. Okay. All. Are you yeah, evil? What else, what else could we give you? Is this your, your, you your final answer or not? Into this answer. Yes, yeah, it's my, it's my final answer. answer. Okay. You're wrong. You're wrong. Yeah, yeah okay, whatever. And then you got a button for this. Hey, Mr. All, you'd be a good super villain. <laughs> Some would argue that I am. <laughs> It's actually it. Oh. It could be both. Nope. It's cation. Well, what also is magnesium? I don't know, man. I don't know, Mr. It's, it's the name of an element. Yeah. Oh, well, hot dog. What? What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, you have to have both. <laughs> what? <laughs> if I looked at you and I said potassium, Yes. Do you know if I'm talking the element oh. or the ion? Oh. No. So you have to talk so both have to, to cover your to cover all bases. Because I asked for magnesium. How much are they gonna Mr. Hall's a super villain, remember? Uh. You have to put both. Imagine we just all bomb our element ones because we didn't put ions too. <laughs> no, that's different. That was that element quiz and I was telling you name the element, so in that case you knew. Yeah, that, that's the second semester. The first semester makes friends. everybody fall into, Mr. Hall loves us, it's great, it's wonderful. It's like, I'm so confused, I don't, it's, I don't understand. It's the hero to villain story, it's a classic. Now, here, if I start you with the ion, 
Why you got dudes in here tonight? This is what makes the islands tricky. When I give you just the name. Is there a dog over there? Because you don't know whether you're dealing with the cat ion or whether we're dealing with the element. You have to put both. Yeah. They found that So we get a war round. So it would be B with the B plus and then so if I gave you the name Boron? Yeah, the name Boron. Okay. So give it to me again. So B slash B plus slash B3 plus. Why is there a B plus? Just B. It's just B slash B3 plus. Why? Is there not one way I only lose? Look at, look at Boron. Boron's in the 13th column. What charge you look for? Is there not? Oh, yeah. What? Yeah, that wasn't even my question. Right. Why'd you look at me? I'm raising my hand in confusion. I'm not. Don't pick on me. <laughs> look, I, I, who pick on me? What, what are you confused about? That we just started this? Leave me alone. <laughs> Let me be so rude. I'm working it out. <laughs> okay, if I said... No, Zoe's a super villain. Zoe turned him into this. Sodium. Give me sodium. Uh, wait. Yeah. Why are you laughing? I don't even think you were right, before that. All right, this is all. I, I make some trade what you got. Okay. Mason's not sharing. I gotta keep it a secret. Zoe's like Palpatine and Mr. Hall's like Darth Vader. Wow. What did I do? <laughs> no, no, no. She made you evil. That's what I'm going with. I'm, I'm dying. I'm on the edge of my seat. Somebody put me out of my misery over here. Give me sodium. NA plus. NA plus. I feel like this wrong. wrong okay. Okay. If you say wrong, I'm leaving this class and never coming back. You Ever. can't lead us in one direction and then. Is that right? Like, swerve the other. Say name Cat Islands. Cat. Cat. Oh. Hard, right? Stop saying that. Please. <laughs> Stop. I just know what's to come. What did you, why did you do this, Zoe? What is wrong with you? I didn't you? do anything. Leave me alone. You can go tell all the kids that were in chemistry last year that told you don't take it. It's the worst class ever. You can walk up to them now and say, we started nomenclature today. And you watch them all go, oh. I, you know what? This ain't that bad, Mr. All. I think this is pretty easy. Now, when it comes to ions, there's not only cat ions. There are. Wait, what, is, what? Why did you write a video for him all? You have such a mysterious smile on your face. Why you teach me? Pretty easy, right? Pretty easy concept. You're wrong. I believe you guys will do the. Get up, start it in, and we have started on nomenclature. First set of rules that we're covering are naming ionic compounds. In order to do that, you have to be able to name the ions. So the first ion we talk about is the cation. So that's what we're hitting first. We establish that. What is the trick when we're naming cations? Uh, the element. Well, it depends. If you're going from the simple to the element, then you can just be like, oh, element. But if you're going from element to the symbol, you need to be sure to include the abbreviation for that element and then uh, a slash with the abbreviation and the charge. Thank you. So the trick that comes with naming cations is when I give you the name. If I give you the name, it's not as simple as... I, I'm literally here. Someone's not at school. Yeah. Sodium NA slash. Mr. 
Easter celebration right here? Absolutely. So the uh, the trick is when I give you the name. So like magnesium, it's not just Mg. It's Mg2 plus now. Why? You don't know if I'm talking element or if I'm talking ion. Now comes the easy part. We don't just worry about naming cations. We also go worry about naming anions. Okay, so it notified her. I'm confused. What's up with this thing? So anions are the negative pi of the chemistry world. They are negatively charged ions. You guys should be familiar with that. Now when it comes to naming the anion, this is where things start to change and things are going to start connecting to make some sense. Remember my warning, don't fall for the trap. It's not this simple. You're just starting with it. Treat this as if we're going through all the mathematical properties and we're doing addition right now, okay? In a couple days, we'll be doing calculus. So when it comes to naming anions, what you have to do, anions keep the root of the element name remove the ending and add IDE to the end. Don't freak out. It's okay, you're familiar with this. Great example of this. And today I'm going to show you why this gets hard. I'm going to get tricky today. Out the gate, I'm going to tell you. Okay? Right in your face. So you look at this, let's all remember, that's not the capital I, okay? This is a capital C, that's a lowercase L. Yes, sir. Okay? So what element is that from? Chlorine. Chlorine. But it has a negative charge. So is it just an element now? It's now an anion. So what I do is I take the element name. I keep the root and I remove the ending. What's the ending is the N, I N A. I remove the ending to add I D E. What's like the ending to like the sink? That's different. Zinc would form a cation. Zinc actually is a special one. We're just not there yet. Okay. That's my second set. Alright. We'll probably end that today. I'm just, I'm just, because I feel so alive. So that's chloride. It's exhilarating. Hey, the reverse of this, what if I gave you a name? Oxide. Wait, no, it's not. 
I don't trust you. He is. He is. No. He, he's a liar, a cheat. You know what? Thief. Carbon dioxide, oxide. I trust you. I don't trust you. Minus. Mr. Kenzie, <laughs> use the force. Okay. It's not. It's what not element does oxide come from? Oxygen. Okay, so oxygen. He's gonna tell us we're wrong. Here's the key. Last time we did that, he went, no. <laughs> IDE. This is the easy one. Why? The IDE tells you. Anions tell you. So it's an anion. No idea who they want to the office. So oxygen forms oxide. What charge? Why did you get two minus? Six valence electrons is easier to get to than six. Six things column. Six valence electrons are getting two electrons. Uh, getting two electrons. The six things column forms two negative charges. So two negative. Getting a feel for it? Okay. Let's see if I did. You can't give up yet. All right, let's do this one. So we all get there. Bromide. Wait. Bromide. It's just bromine. It's just bromine. Bromide. Yeah. It's just bromine. 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 Why is it bromine, <laughs> not bromide? Because you didn't there's no kind of charge. There's no charge. Actually, that Mr. little prankster. Actually, Mr. Hall. It matters. Do you see how fine of details you're going to cut these by? How close these things are going to be? Now comes the fun part. We're going to kick it up another notch. No more notches. <laughs> Let's get to the ionic compounds. Let's combine them together. Okay. Okay. Okay, she gives us the hardest one you could think of right now. That's probably yeah, let's see. Let's just try it. Um, is there any math and nomenclature? Probably no. Addition, like, well, I can't say that. I can't say that. A little bit. I'm feeling that. Okay. Like, where is it? Pull out some light. Didn't we just do math to figure out and put the charges right there? Well, that's not that. That's why I said a little bit. All right, ionic compounds. So this is combining, okay? This is when you have. And I want to get ions together. So we have the anions and the cations together. You have one you're familiar with. You know the name of it, but I want you to see now where the name comes from. NaCl. I know you could roll the name off right now, but how do we name this? You follow the rule. Even though it's an ionic compound, we still name the cation and the anion. In this case, they have fixed charges, so don't worry about it. So what's first? We always put the cation first. So name the cation. Sodium. Sodium. Name the anion. Chloride. Chloride. Easy, right? When it comes to ionic compounds, it's easy when you go from the chemical formula to the name. How ionic compounds get hard is when we go from the chemical name to the formula. And this is why. Calcium fluoride. Here's the thing when it comes to calcium fluoride. 
I'm going to go ahead and tell you, it's not CAF. No. Separate them with the charge. Calcium is bonded to fluoride. I know ide means it's an anion, so this has to be a cation. So calcium, what's the charge on calcium? Number 20. Positive. Uh, it would be, yeah, two, two good, plus. positive. And I get a number with that too. Oh, yeah. Two plus. How'd I get two plus? It's the second column. Now look at fluoride. Topic number nine. Fluoride has what charge? Minus. So, minus. It's a one. I'm going to show you something we call it crisscross method. Okay? This is how you get everything balanced out. You cross everything over. When we cross, we lose the charge. The one from here comes down for the calcium. The two from here comes down for the fluoride. What? Why? Because what's the charge on calcium? Two plus. What's the charge on the fluoride? Negative one. It takes two fluorides cancel out one calcium. That's a very complex way of explaining it, but that's another way to explain it besides what you can tell you cross the charges it balances out. Oh, yeah. So when you do this you get CAF2. It's never been more over. You try this with all. <laughs> what is it? It's never been more over for me, Mr. <laughs> Why? It's so over. <laughs> it's like a little puzzle. Pretty, cool. Pretty much? Yeah. You know, that's just, all chemistry is a little puzzle. <laughs> yeah, it's just, you know, some parts of chemistry, it's like you're trying to complete the puzzle that someone has stole five of your pieces. The hardest part to me, Mr. Charles, is knowing whether it's, it's, it has two two charge or one charge. I can't lie. That's, That's also, hard. yeah, I don't understand this. Yeah. Where the charges are coming from? Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't know, like, where you get a negative or positive. Okay, so, to the periodic table. Hey, we'll come back to the potassium nitrate. Hey, listen, here, here's a serious note, okay? Thank you, too. Okay, thank you. You asked now, instead of just sitting there and waiting until a week later, and it just piles on top of you and then you're totally lost. If you don't understand something in here, this is the time to ask because I promise you, you're not the only person in the room. Fact of it is, as you two spoke up, I guarantee there's more people in the room who have no idea where these charges are coming from. Yeah, whoever you are, you're dumb. <laughs> I didn't want to ask because I thought you guys would throw stones at me. <laughs> <laughs> we're all burst into laughter. Yeah, we are going to though. Okay, the key is on the periodic yeah. table. I think I know. I think it's due to like calcium is two, a number two, so it have two because it have to go back two, but I don't have to lose two, but I don't. Back one. I see. I'm just gonna say this is a big periodic table. Okay. Once you take one, just pass it around. I want you to have a new one so you actually can write on this, okay? So this right here. I got like 50 of my book packs. Show the world, brother. What do you want? I think the first column elements are a bunch of posers. What? You like rubidium? So this is all about where charges come from, okay? Here's the thing when we talk about where charges come from. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, we don't worry about the transition metals. You're going to find out why maybe later on. It's either today or tomorrow you're going to find out why. Then from there, this comes from the termination of their valence electrons. Everybody wants to get eight. So what's simpler for it to do? That's what you're looking at. Make them to the counseling office. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna rip it out of the ceiling today. 
First, the first column. First column has one valence electron. So it wants to get to eight. So is it easier to lose the one or gain seven? Lose. It's going to lose the one. When it does that, first column will form a positive one charge. So all of the alkali metals, that's column one, will form a plus one charge. So Tanner mentioned rubidium. What charge will rubidium form? Plus one. It forms a plus one. Now you go to the second column. It has two valence electrons. It's easier to lose two than gain six. So what happens is column two will lose the two electrons and they'll form a plus two. So positive two. Then we go to the 13th column. I'm going to go ahead and tell you the 13th column is a little different, a little weird. But if we pull something from the 13th column, you practically going to look and say it has three valence electrons. So it will lose three, so it will form a plus three charge. 14th column is the changing point. 14th column likes to form what we call molecules, not compounds. So they really won't form a charge. So this is where we change. We go to the 15th column. The 15th column has five valence electrons. It's easier to gain three than lose five. So it will form a negative three charge. Hey, 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 back at you. Sixteenth column. You look at the sixteenth column, it has six valence electrons. How many, what will the charge of it be? A little minus, a negative two, okay? Y'all see where this is coming from? Seventeenth column, what's the charge? Negative one. Okay. 18th column. These guys do stuff. Did you ask about nitrate? That's different. That's a polytomic guy. Nitride. Mr. Roll, I can't read and I don't know what nitride is, and I didn't know that it was nitrogen, and I'm dumb. I thought it was I thought nitrate Damn. I thought Damn. nitrate was a was a You're uh, not dumb. You just a little slower you just late to get motivated sometimes. Slow, slower down the edges. <laughs> <Slower, laughs> <slower, laughs> All right, so look, I gave you potassium nitride up there, right? Separate it out. Potassium. You find potassium. Here's potassium. It's in the first column. So what's the charge on potassium? So K plus. Does everybody see that? I don't want to go too fast. I want to make sure you guys are good and make sure you see that. All right. So I have a K plus. Now I have nitride. Nitride comes from nitrogen, which is here in the fifteenth column. What's the charge on it? N three, N three minus. What do we do? Cross it. So the three from the nitrogen comes down for the potassium. So it's K three. The one comes down for the nitride. K3N, please, 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 please make a note and see. I did not bring the charges down with that. That's a K3. That's not a K negative 3. It's K3N. Remember it this way. Numbers up top have charge. Numbers down as uh, subscripts. No charge. I should never see a charge in those bottom numbers, ever. Understand? Okay. Back to the board.
This short intermission has been brought to you by Bishop's Brew. The best cold brew around. Thank you. All right. You got me potassium nitride over there, okay? How you guys feeling here? Feeling okay? Come on. I'm scared to answer. Oh. I know. I'm also. I feel like it's gonna. I feel like you're gonna put one up that's gonna be yeah, really hard. Yeah, I feel like you're about to say. Yeah, I feel pretty good about this. You're gonna be like, well, no, you don't. And then if you are wrong, I'm, I'm. We're gonna. We're gonna like stone you to death. I'm Let's so uncomfortable. Right I just stared at nitrite for like ten minutes and didn't realize it was nitrogen. So <laughs> I'm not feeling too confident. I don't see nitrate. Why are you looking for nitrate, Dale? I because he's got it up there. That's nitrite, Dale. Oh. I swear nitrate was a was it was, was was one. I swear it was. Okay. I swear it was so, one. So here's what we're gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna give you six practice ones. This is what I like to do. I've taught you some things. Now I'll throw the practice at you. This is what's gonna happen though. I mix everything together. I don't tell you what's what. So I don't say name these cat icons. I just look at you and say, name these. Greg. Whoa, what's going on? I feel like Dad's picked his own. VCA do not apply to me. I'm Batman. I'll give you a shot on that. Alexa, start me a timer for three minutes. Good morning, Kevin. Three minutes. Morning. Starting now. Alexa, what's the animal of the day? The animal of the day is the harp seal. They are born with white fur that turns black when they are three to four weeks old. Wow. That's so pretty bad. sick. <laughs> Alexa. What sound does a harp seal make? Here's a harp seal bark. Whoa. That's cool. Whoa. Hey, hey Alexa, <laughs> what sound does my chemistry students make whenever they are not paying attention and doing the problems <laughs> that I give them for practice and whenever they get their quiz? Sorry, I don't know that. <laughs> well, I guess we'll never Alexa, know. don't worry. You'll be hearing it Sorry, very soon. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> she has faith in us. She's not sure about that one. I would have died laughing if she went, ah, ha, 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 ha. You're supposed to put the number before the sign, right? Whenever you're doing charges. Yeah. If you put the sign first, it's oxidation numbers. You guys haven't learned that yet, though, so I don't even, I'm not requiring that from you. Oh, man, I almost forgot. I'm about to get caught. Is that me? The day on Apple News. I never got that notification. It was terrible. Oh! Uh-oh.
Hey, Lex, how much time on that timer? You have 10 seconds left on your two minute timer. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to do these. It's over for us. He was, he was correct. The, the name to the, the symbol is really easy. The symbol to the name is hard. Alexa, no, stop. Please. It's the final chapter. My brain finally kicked it in overdrive. Nice. I give you like, well, ECA, you got like no more time. Uh, it's okay. Anatomy can wait. I'm sure your anatomy professor feels that way. Well, why are we all late? I don't, you don't I need anatomy. I think she'll appreciate the fact that we're missing her science class for another science class. Yeah, and then when you tell her it's chemistry, she she's like, never chemistry, mind. chemistry, though. Uh, who cares? We had a chemistry like, uh, chapter pretty much. Just prefacing acids and bases. And she was like, I don't like this chapter. I thought she had a doctorate in molecular biology. She doesn't like chemistry? <laughs> well, a lot of people don't like chemistry. They have to take it anyways, though. Yeah, they're, they're dumb. I mean, chemistry's the greatest <laughs> class ever. Besides, like, the, the all physics. Okay. Maybe Besides physics. In there. It does it's like chemistry, physics, man. It's like, oh my god. Oh my god. <clears throat> Now, All right, Mr. Hall. All right, here we go. Right. Potassium. I forgot everything after that. Tricky. 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 I fall for that trick. Potassium. What you get? K slash K plus. It's okay, slash K plus. Woo hoo! Oh, don't worry. Well, I wrote K plus. I'm gonna get you. You have to do both. What? Well, can give me a fucking finish, Mr. Hall. Nitrogen. What do you got? I didn't do it because uh, I forgot. N slash right. N. In the three negative. No! No, no you idiot! <laughs> I don't know. Have you learned nothing? Nitride, nitride. What do you get? Nitride. What? Nitride. Are you saying nitride or I tried? Nobody said it. Nitride. It's an anion, which means you have to do a little I at the end of. No, I don't. But I don't have I at the end, so what does that mean? It's just nitrogen. Just, just nitrogen, so you what is it? What are you, what are you talking, talking about? Are you what is nitrogen? nitrogen? Wait, no, she's right, and Mr. Hall's making a stinger no, wrong. No, 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 no. It is nitrogen is an anion. When you're naming anions, you take the, the root word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm scared. No, it's not. Stop yelling at me. You don't it's change it. There. What are you trying to say to me? <laughs> All right, nitrogen. Ends with the ending. It does not end with IDE, which yeah. means no. it is not an ion. You are not. Which no. means <laughs> it is an element. I promised you something no. at week three. And now you're going to face the fire. And I told you. Get the stone. I ready. always have these in my back pocket. I just had a panic attack. Nitrogen. <laughs> Is N2. Oh, Why? Why? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I was hoping yeah, you answer, Mr. Hall. You're the teacher here. Me. One of the seven diatomics. I always. Oh. What? Oh. Always have the diatomics waiting for you. I was ready to use evil for that. I don't appreciate it. <laughs> I <laughs> promised you and told you. You really are talking like a super villain. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> the hall monitor. <laughs> Chloride! CL minus. Chloride? CL minus. Why didn't we put CL with this? Because it's an anion, uh, idiot. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Somebody's passionate <laughs> that this was morning. To, that was to me. Somebody ate their Wheaties. <laughs> It ends in IDE. It's an anion, so we don't put the chemical symbol by itself. We know it is the ion. So Cl minus. All right, going up top. Here we go. MgO. We got. I don't know. Um, I got. That's an O. I thought it was a zero. Mg2O2. I got magnesium oxide. I gave you the formula. I want the mag. I'm having a stroke. I thought that was a <laughs> that zero. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Hang on, I'm going to wait until he's done writing. Magnesium oxide. Yeah! <laughs>
<laughs> I got one. Yeah. Woo! Let's go. Get pumped up today. I thought it was one word. All right, what you got here on SR3? I don't want to answer this. Chromium phosphide. That's exactly what I always misspell this one for whatever reason. It's not that hard to spell, but strontium. Strontium? What? Yeah, I thought it was strontium. First answer, right? My first answer, right? Strontium. Yeah, that's what I thought. 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 Yeah, that's what I <laughs> They're just jealous. They want to be in here. Yeah. All right, B A S, baby. Oh, oh my God! Wait. <laughs> yeah, baby. I'm retiring. Yeah. It's who you. I'm retiring. I'm like, you got it wrong. <laughs> no, 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 no. I got it right. That's. I'm done. I'm leaving. <laughs> Barium sulfide, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. I promise you one thing. I will give you practice. I promise you a second thing. I will trick you. Oh, you think so, Mr. That was crazy. If you think that that was a trick, just wait. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog do I got some tricks. I still don't understand the nitrogen trick. Nitrogen. Whenever I say nitrogen, it means it's by itself. It's one of the seven diatomics, which means that it exists in nature, bonded to itself. Why is, so it, why is it not in, in two six negative? 